Well, the data with Vixios, which is a liposomal formulation of uh, cytarabine and donorubicin, really has sort of set a new bar in terms of our foundation chemotherapy. For decades now, we have been using as the gold standard, uh, standard cytarabine and anthracycline-based chemotherapy, even though we know that it's not ideal. Several studies have looked at intensifying either the cytarabine or the anthracycline. We now have a verified new formulation of cytarabine and uh, donorubicin that has proven efficacy over standard 7 and 3 for a subset of patients with therapy-related and MDS-related AML. So the studies now are how can we build upon that. I think that I have been using it in my practice. It is uh, um, logistically a little bit easier. It's a three 90-minute infusions during induction. Uh, patients experience uh, less hair loss. Uh, it tends to be something that we can administer as an outpatient in the consolidation setting. So I think more and more we're starting to use this drug and the question is going to be can this now be the foundation for further studies building upon that success rate, that improved survival, that improved CR rate, the improved outcomes after transplant. So yes, it has become a new standard.